Uh, 30 tries later. Hey, it's me, Balti. <laughs> it's me, Marco. <laughs> Meet me at the newsstand. <laughs> Um, you know what it was? Auto oh, look ahead, I'm turning it off. Yeah, that's probably what it is. <laughs> aye, aye. <laughs> Alright, sweet. Uh, so I'm Balti. And I'm Colt. And together we are the second best Time Splitters 2 co op players in the world. That is correct. Run pending. <laughs> Run pending. You can't go look this up, but. Uh... Yeah, we, we submitted our run about three and a half weeks ago, almost a month ago now. Yep. And we're just waiting for the moderators to verify our run, but our run would be second in the world co-op easy. And it is. We just need moderation to take a look at it, but the moderation's so small for this game that it could take a little bit. Anyways, uh, so this is where the timer would start. Um, this run should be around 30 minutes. Uh, we're going to do um, non-risky strats on the last level because the risky strats can end the run right away. Um, which sucks, because it's on the last level. Yeah, basically it all comes down to, like this this whole run is split up between two objectives and each player takes one. Some, some are easier than others. Um, you'll see on level five, I just kind of sit around for the entire level. But on the last level, one player kills themselves and the other player tries to projectile blast themselves into a weird loading zone to end the game. But it's it's really risky. Very risky. And, but, and it's the only way. The world record um, holders, they're French. They, they, like, they made that glitch, I think. Or they found out that glitch and they were the first ones to really successfully do it on a run. Uh, big part as to why they have the world record. And if you want to be in contention, you need to be able to perform that glitch during a run. Uh, so here I'm going to be throwing a mine to break this, hopefully, hopefully one of those two worked. Uh, and then we're going to be walking a lot, a lot, a lot. A lot of walking. A lot of time splitting. A lot of splitting time. Uh, so here, uh, most of the time safe on this level is just movement and execution. Uh, there are very few things that you can do with, like, um, I guess like manipulating the AI to like back boost you and, and things like that. Uh, also, a back boost in this game is getting shot from the back and getting a big speed boost from that. Just like that. Yeah, you could have seen that I got one early at the beginning of the level from the first AI, but I didn't get any down the hallway where you're supposed to get at least maybe two or three. And then just to clarify, uh, me, Balti, I'm at the top screen and Colt will be playing on the bottom screen. Right in the head! <laughs> right in the head! Please take, a time, take the time to enjoy the beautiful music of Siberia. This is what they listened to in, in the their 90s. country. <laughs> in the 90s, this is all they played in their military bases in Siberia. <laughs> On repeat. At the clubs. <laughs> So you see I have the time mines here, I'm basically just going to throw uh, three of these guys, maybe an extra, just for safe measures. Blow it up, grab the time crystal, and we're out of here. Sweet. And um, as you saw, um, once uh, we're going to be splitting off a lot in the levels. One person's going to be grabbing the time crystal and doing whatever needs to be done to like get the time portal to spawn, which is the time portal is what gets you out of the level. Mm -hmm. Uh, and another one of us will also always be standing where the time portal spawns just to be able to get out without any time loss. Shit. Shit. Ah, shit. If you hear anything more than, ah, shit, then it means that it's an obsolete run. Then it's, yeah, it's, it's a re. <laughs> Whoops. So here you'll see some back boosting, a lot of back boosting here. I have the, uh, pistol, I'm gonna let Balti take the lead. And I'm gonna shoot him every time I can push him forward, like there. Down the down the street we're about to see, and especially at the very street's end. one twelve. Got clicked on that corner. All good. He's not able to get any back boosts there, which is not a that big of a. It's not a run killer, not at all. And uh, here's coming up the the first 
big and maybe the only glitch in, in the game without the last glitch, so I'll, we'll have Cold explain it since he's the master. Yeah, so we also found this from the, the uh, French run, and basically it's all about positioning yourself on this cliff. The other player has to be down to kind of boost in the second section. I'm going to stand right here, wait to get shot. These guys suck at aiming sometimes. And now I'm in. Now I'm going to chill underneath this staircase, wait for them to gather up. I guess I'm going to go now, and then, yeah, just try to finesse my way out. Yep. They're going to open the door. Which lets us have access to this card. Otherwise, we'd lose um, about 30 seconds for not doing the glitch. Yeah, it's it's a must, too, if you want to be uh, a times player. So now I'm going <laughs> to shoot Balti in the back a bunch. I'm missing a bunch, but... This is going to give them just a slight incremental boost forward that push them to the next zone quicker. And I'm going to grab the Tommy gun here, which is going to allow us to get the fast kill on the boss and uh, get out of here in ASAP. The boss is amazing. His name's Fenton. Just wait. Well, he's, he yells Fenton. <laughs> oh, yeah. His name's not Fenton, actually. It's we big, we actually, Tony. We figured out that we are Fenton. Yeah. Fenton! <laughs> Fenton! <laughs> well, going to go for that I did not kill. get the fast kill. Well, we have backup strats. Slow backup strats. So it doesn't matter if we get the kill that fast on the boss. Um, with the, the whole, new strats. The whole room is on a loading zone. Yep. So it worked out fine there. While, uh, when we do that glitch that saves like 30 seconds, they, there's an in-game timer. We're not sure exactly how it works, but um, it the portal is kind of on a timer. So we're not losing so, time there. Real quick, I'm going to... Ask Balti, are we going to run new Notre Trash stats? Yeah. 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 Okay. So, uh, Notre Dame is probably, I'd say, one of the harder levels to execute on. Um, you're about to see why. There's just a lot of things that could go wrong on this. Uh, so, here I'm going to yep. go ahead. I'm going to back boost Colt to the switch. And then we're going to start going up. So, in this level, there's a few things that are important. Um, we need to rescue, I think, three maidens. Three maidens. Two of them are in this prison chamber, and one is in like the church area. Um, now, we're about to see. I'm the, I also get lit on fire here, right? Uh, do you want to do old strats then? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to just back this one? Yeah. So we're going to run a little bit of safer strats. I actually did not get sent on fire. Okay. So if you want to free yeah. the maidens, go I'm, for it. I'm grabbing it. The fire in this game is very can I grab weird. Second like, I can just walk over this. You, you grab I'll second. grab second maiden, yeah. So first maiden is free, you just go up to him and hit A, but our new strats to save time are to actually just get set on fire, don't care about the flames, mm -hmm. because they won't kill you, but the problem is they're going to set the maidens on fire, and when that happens it's an automatic run ender. Yeah. So we've been shooting out the cuffs lately, but it is we haven't practiced it enough yet. Here are stair strats. Not the, not the nicest, not the worst. Here's the time crystal, I got it. Now we're gonna wait for these jabronis to spawn down in the main courtyard. Yep. Go for headshots. And then after three, you're gonna see, um, so there's four that spawn on each side. Colt is gonna get three of his, I'm gonna get three of mine. And we're gonna start moving. And this gentleman right here, Farmer John. Farmer John, the goat. He's gonna, he's gonna get it done for us. Um, so that we can already be at the point we, where we need to move forward. So there's going to be a trigger that is going to open a door here. We just need Farmer John to uh, finish them off. And he will right now, hopefully. Yep. And then we're going to get this boss. to the middle so I can get a better shot off. And as you can see, um, I was missing a lot of my shots on the boss. The, his, the boss's hitbox is just messed up. Um, you can shoot like wide right of his head and it's headshots all the way. I guess I'll go for boss here. Uh, I have double pistol, so oh, if you want to just take a step. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna back boost Balti. So you can get to the boss quicker. Yep. And I'm gonna chill probably right around here. Wait for the portal. A little more, I think. Maybe this one. Yeah. I did not get the fast kill on the boss, but it's no problem. Yeah, I believe. Yep. And we're up. We're so all things away. considered, not a bad Notre Dame. Not uh, bad. For our world record run, it, I think it'd be like a couple seconds slow, but. Especially because um, we got the, the cuffs last time, we didn't do the old strats. Now this, we have like down, there's there's really no time uh, save that we can have on this level, I feel like. Yeah, it's, we have it's, this shit down. it's a very straightforward level. Um, there are a few things that you're going to see that come into play um, for like time save purposes. Like, 
Uh, there's gonna be coming up a few spawns of these aliens. Not these ones. Uh, when we get to this little uh, cliffside. These ones are chumps. They're just target practice. Yep. Also, the song on this level is one of the goats. It's really good. Alright, so getting to here, uh, Cole and I are going to split off for, not like fully split off, but uh, we're going to make sure that we get the spawns as soon as possible because the spawns are on a trigger that make it um, so we can lose time. So we're going to shoot as soon as these guys spawn. The faster you get the kills, the faster they spawn, and the more compounding time you get, uh, time save you get from that. We're off to the races. Probably about three seconds lost there because I should have ran to the turret, but it's n n not a big deal. <laughs> These small time saves. Yeah. After you see the beehive, you're gonna go right into, <laughs> right into this little corner here. And then this is pretty much the last section of the level. We just need to clear a couple waves, and then we're going to get teleported into the UFO that's crashed over here. Yep, and you're going to see, uh, I think what could be considered kind of a small little glitch that we do uh, to save time here. So that'll be coming up. We'll give you guys a heads up. So the same thing here as the last little section is um, trying to kill everything as soon as it spawns. And then uh, we're gonna have Colt stand right under this guy, and um, blue we're gonna oh. teleport into the ship. I'm in. So Colt got, got a perfect. I'm one. gonna go left. Balti's gonna go right. He's gonna grab yep. the time crystal, and I'm gonna grab the portal. Yep. And boom, boom, time. Amazing. So that was a pretty damn good um, SpaceX. Nicely done. And here we go. The reason this game is oh. probably dead. The most boring <laughs> level in speedrunning history. Neo Tokyo. <laughs> Please don't let this not consider us for AGDQ. <laughs> there's a little bit of just sitting around here, but it's uh, there's nothing you can do about it. At least to our knowledge. There might be a glitch, um, but it's undiscovered. Uh, our plan is to do some research on this in the in the future, uh, but to this day, no one that's sped ran this game has been able to find any glitch that can speed this up. Um, you are waiting for three minutes? Two and a half? Yeah, it's like two and a half, three two minutes. Two and a half, three minutes. Of nothing. So this is like where, when we're running our actual runs, when he gets there, I start running over here, and you're going to see that after this, I do literally nothing. Sometimes I'll just play games with these uh, NPCs. And just, what do you think? <laughs> Does, does she deserve to live today? We need, we, you know what? Maybe an AGDQ sacrifice. It was a valiant effort. To our fallen brother, sister. Whatever it was. He didn't have any pants on. Which is so weird. Yeah. But it's Neo Tokyo, you know? I guess that's so. like the, that's how people dress nowadays. And in case you're unsure, this game takes different places throughout the world and puts them at different times in history. So this is like, I think 2019 or something, so... I mean, this does look pretty 2019 to me. Yeah. Uh, so, now that we have the time, uh, a little bit of background as to how we got into this, and and I guess speedrunning overall. Uh, so, we've, we've, spe we've been speedrun fans for many different games for over 10 years now. Personally, like, my favorite speedrun to watch is the Battle for Bikini Bottom speedrun. Um, with Shift taking the uh, the lead on that. Yep. For me, it'd be the the old Ocarina uh, Ocarina of Time speed runs uh, back when any percent was very high. Um, but yeah, we we found this game uh, first as a joke, um, and then we checked out the speed run for it, and we thought that we could beat it. And after a few months of really grinding it out, we we finally got a time that we thought was like not only in contention with the world record, but really good really strong. And we do have plans for going after the number one spot. It's just going to take a little bit more grinding, a little bit more practice, and maybe some uh, some new strats. Yeah. And we're, we're big fans of AGDQ. We, we've checked out countless runs from there. Uh, you know, we meme on it a lot, like, <laughs> on the, the funny times and the hype runs and everything. Who and could forget the, the Tonga 2 run? Yeah. 
and it would be legitimately probably one of our dreams to be able to participate in it and showcase what we are what we're good at now because this is the only speedrunning game we've ever been like in contention of being you know not only like some of the best in the world but right up there totally so now the uh, the waiting has ended, at least for Balti. For me, I'm literally just going to stay here for the rest of the entire level. It's one of the hardest strats in the whole it's, game. It's very difficult. Um, Balti now is just going to follow this... Uh, what's her name again? I, I forget her name. But this lady, uh, until she passes through here, he's going to sneak into the uh, surveillance room right now, hop, hop on the cameras. Yep. And he's going to try to obtain the hacker's password. Yep, so here, again, there's nothing you can do but wait. You have to wait for the, the lady in the front to get to this room. Uh, once she hops on the computer, uh, I'm going to get the code, run around, hopefully kill both of the, the people there, and you'll see the last little bit. Not ideal. The ADDQ stress, make sure she's dead. And here, you're going to punch this guy out so that they don't alert the guards. That's really important. Without doing that, it's it's very difficult to end this level. Yep. As soon as he gets that lever, this bridge goes down, and then I just stand here for the time portal. And I'm gonna try to get a headshot, perfect. And you wanna punch her in the back. It's the fastest way to kill, actually, is... Um, there are a few guns that kill pretty fast in the game, but... Uh, Punching in the back is way quicker than trying to get pistol to land. For some reason, it does a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. But punching in the front, not necessarily. Uh, and here's Wild West, uh, a level where we have to change our strats as we kind of try to go for world record. Mm -hmm. And probably one of my favorite levels in it's, the whole game. Yes, it's one of the quickest levels. Uh, it's, it's fast, you know what to do, there's always something... Uh, there, there's like not much that can go wrong here other than maybe the beginning. So here Colt's in a cell. Uh, usually I would have to go around to get him, but you can shoot... Uh, you can shoot this from inside the prison, so they didn't really think this out very well. Uh, and here I'm gonna go, I'm gonna rescue this lady by shooting these barrels. Got him. Originally I, I was on that, uh, I was doing that strat. We found it not only better for time for Balti to do it, but also he's just kind of better at hitting the barrels. Nah, no, you're pretty good at hitting these barrels. He's just being, he's just being, uh, modest. Humble. Humbling experience. Hitting the barrels will do that to you. <laughs> uh, so here, um, Colt's gonna follow that. Um, and this goes back to our point of w when we split off to get different things done for time save. I'm gonna kill the boss, and uh, Colt's gonna go get the time crystal. Time crystal's right here, he's gonna follow the track, and then once he kills boss, he's just gonna fall right down, and we're done. And you can Easy miss money. the bridge there. Uh, yeah. The zone to hit the, the time portal is quite large, so you, yeah. you have to really like fall off the edge and not even be close to the portal for it not to work. Okay, so Adam Smasher used to be the level that gave us the most difficulty period. Um, it's, it's a hard level. It, like There are a lot of things that need to go right for you to have a good time on it, right. but now I'd say we're some of the best in the world at it. It's, it's uh, yeah, last time we got like a, I forgot what the time was, but. It was very good. This level we've streamlined. We need to get a little bit more precise on Robot Factory, but you know we'll we'll cross that bridge when it's time. Yep. So here, Colt and I are going to split off. Uh, Colt's going to do a lot of the dirty work. I didn't grab his pistol. Good RNG. So there's going to be four scientists that we have to save here uh, that are going to defuse these bombs. Why is there bombs detonating? We don't know. know. We've never watched they're the cutscene. They're trying to smash <laughs> Adam. That's um, but hey, if, we, if, if we're invited to AGDQ, we're going to give you an answer. <laughs> yeah. We're going to know all the lore. Okay. So here we're just going to kill these guys. Now the fire is very finicky. I always go for the source of the fire first and then try to put it out. I find it goes faster. Yep. Yeah, that was pretty quick. I'll take care of that bomb for you. <laughs> I'll take care of that bomb. So here I'm going to get another uh, extinguisher refresh. Another and I'm going to try to grab the first Soviet. I'm going to leave the second for Baltia and grab it. And I'm going to back with here a little. 
Uh, and here we're gonna split off. So Colt's gonna go um, ahead and um, get to kind of the last area of the game, or the, the stage. Uh, and I'm gonna defuse one of the uh, four bombs here. So I'm gonna just use this magnet. Colt's got the hard part here. I'm just coasting. I feel like the bomb magnets are harder. Um, and here, the timer on the top right will be a good representation of how we're doing. So 843 um, is all right. Usually you want it to be like 841 to have a really amazing time. But um, those are uh, kind of a, a mix between a good RNG and just execution. perfect execution, which can be difficult at times. I think the other guy's still alive. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna grab the armor because I'm very low on health. And uh, this is the last little section, so we're gonna split off again. Colt's gonna get these three switches, uh, and I'm gonna kill the boss and be ready to, to go into the portal. Yeah, and the time crystal is kind of weird here. It just pops out randomly uh, from where the boss is killed. Um, usually it goes left. Left, I've okay. Noticed, yeah. Two. Except for, did I grab it? I did grab it. Wow, I, it landed on me for the first time ever. Ever. Back to his pole. That's it. And we're out. Pretty, Pretty good. good. Let's go. Not bad. I mean, we haven't played since we hit our our number two in the world spot, which was probably like three and a half weeks ago to a month ago. Yep. So this is, we're kind of just uh, getting back play, in the group. Playing off memory, yeah. Um, I think we definitely have the goal to try to beat world record at some point. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, sometimes it's good to take a little break, and obviously submitting this was a good chance for us to to get back into the swing of things. So I missed the back boost on Colt there. Um, it saves half a second, if that. Very negligible, but good if you can get it. Yeah. Here, basically, I'm going to run this route to try to get all the way past this bridge to hit this little switch that's going to open the door for Balti to go in this temple early. I'm going to join him at that temple later, and we're basically going to have to down three of these golems, which you'll see. And after that, we're pretty much done. I'll grab time crystal at the end. So, so I'm just uh, setting the crossbow on fire and getting this guy so he doesn't get in close way after. Uh, they're pretty big, and it's hard to uh, like run past them in these narrow hallways. Uh, and I'm gonna be here at the the Aztec Door of Time. And the crossbow is one of the best guns in the game. It has great and ammo. Not the best. Yeah, I mean probably the minigun. It 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 legitimately one shots everything in this level. It's yeah. amazing. I'm gonna go for this monkey up here. Oh my Ooh, god! Ooh, monkey skip. Monkey skip. Doesn't save time, but it it gives morale. Yeah, it's a morale. <laughs> <Yeah. food. laughs> so here uh, I'm gonna. Get this kill, go down, grab this, and we're going to the temple. temple um, so here, uh, these there's these three golems, as Colt mentioned. Um, this is a part of the run where RNG is a factor. Mm -hmm. um, dependent of if this golem wants to run straight for me or not. Wow, perfect RNG. So that golem can decide to slam the ground, uh, and every time he does, you lose two seconds. And he can do it like three times. Wow, we... We got perfect RNG. The dream. Yeah, mine's down. Let's go. Well done. So that's what we call a perfect Aztec, pretty much. It's um, hard to get those, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and that, that level has quite literally no time save from our PB. Um, it's just you need to hope to get the good RNG or else you're done. Are we on robot? We're on robot. Two more levels to go. Two more levels to go. So robot factory is the hardest level in the game. There's just a lot of things to do, and a lot of things have to go right. There is an RNG element at the end with yep. the shield. We're going to have to down these four nodes, as you'll see. Mm -hmm. And the last one could have a shield and might not. If it doesn't have a shield, great RNG, but it's very rare. Yep. Um, Less than half the time. Yep. So uh, this is just also one of the hardest levels to execute. So Cole will back boost me here to try to get me uh, to this... Um, it's like control panel to lower a bridge or extend a bridge, I guess. I should have grabbed the mines. I'm gonna try to get up on this platform. Balti's gonna extend the bridge for me here, and then I'm gonna go across and grab the electro tool, which will help us down the nodes. The electro tool. The bridge is up. There's a one guy who spawns here. Jump. They at least give you a really good weapon on this. The plasma auto rifle is pretty good. 
It is pretty good. Also, the futuristic noises in this level are next level. <laughs> when things spawn... Here's the electro tool. Kinda looks like the Prometheus lens from Destiny. So in this level there's gonna be, um, once again, like you saw in the Return to Planet X, um, we're gonna have to kill things fast for the for like a trigger to happen, like a door to open, things like that. So that's that how we got a pretty fast. good one. So I was shooting plasma grenades so that when Colton killed the node, which uh, triggers a spawn of four robots, we can just move forward right away because um, uh, that gate is locked behind that those spawns. We're gonna keep running. Now I'm pretty much done with the electro tool. Balti's gonna get the next two. Yep. And we're gonna meet up in this area where we have to destroy waves of high tier and low tier enemies. And then after that, we go for the boss. Yep. The boss, which is the easiest boss in the game. Yeah. Actually, you know what? All bosses are easy in this game. I would say the machinist is pretty damn easy, though. Uh, bad RNG, but it's okay. So what, what Colt means there by bad RNG, there's this um, there's this note on the sky here. <laughs> in the sky, on the ceiling. If it has that barrier, um, you lose about 20 seconds because you can't get it early. Um, now, there is, it's purely RNG. That barrier cannot appear, and you can get the note early and save 20 seconds, which... Again, is a must if you're trying to contend. Just like many speedruns, everything has to go I right. I get the big robot. Sounds good. One down. I think one more wave after this. Yep. And then we can run. Yep. That's it. Oh, wait. I missed one. So here, uh, this is probably the hardest part of the level. You just need to kill everything very fast. And as soon as it spawns, you tr you're trying to get the, the kill. So here there's a glitch that's a fast kill on the boss. Yep. Um, you just shoot under him so that the bullets bounce and he just insta dies. And then I'm gonna try to go Fly up and back. boost Balti the best I can. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Ooh, that's pretty good. I got like three. Okay, nice. Uh, and I'm gonna grab Time Crystal and Colt's gonna be on the portal. And a be Time Crystal. Pretty good. Pretty good. And here we go with the last level of the so, game. So, do you think I should still kill myself? Probably, right? Um. Yeah. yeah. No, there's no point to. I catching mean, you up. could. I, yeah, you could catch up. You could try. Because the elevator comes up anyways. Yeah, why not? Doing me. Okay. Um, are we doing fast drop strats? Fast drop. Fast drop. Oh like yeah. On the first. On elevator. the first elevator. Yeah, yeah for sure. Right. Just keep everything the same except the glitch at the end. Probably. Yeah. Sounds good. We're gonna have to activate three little computer panels and then the door opens at the bottom. Yep. I'm gonna split off. We're gonna run down this hallway together. Balti's gonna back me up for uh, add support. And I'll, I basically want to try to get like four to eight plasma grenades on the auto rifle. And that's gonna make it so I can kill myself at the end of the level. Yep. Now, we're not gonna do it on this one. But if we were going for a world record, we would have to because there's a glitch at the end that just saves a significant amount of time. Probably 30 seconds at least. Okay, I got more meats. We call these guys mini meats. <laughs> these guys are normal, but you'll see what we're talking about. These little small guys. Yep, and I'm here. Uh, I just come up with Colt just to help him clear, but from here on out, he's on his own. I'm going to go into this little uh, airlock. Yep. And this guy sucks. <laughs> he that really guy sucks. Suck. That guy sucks. Alright. Now, if I just stay out here long enough, I'll die because I'll run out of oxygen. But I'm basically trying to down these ships. And once I down these ships, um, we can continue the level. Yep, so uh, cold downing these ships is what's going to open this door. Um, not really sure as to why, but <laughs> that's does. that's the way it, it does. <laughs> that's that's space station, baby. <laughs> So here's some uh, beautiful gameplay. Oh, and he gets the ship! Oh, let's go! <laughs> they should be coming up here now. Uh, and these are on a cycle, so um, if for any reason we mess up anything beforehand, the ship will be on kind of further along on the cycle, so we can't get it early. There should um, be two more cycles, I think. Yeah, I think so. One down the middle, and then, and one, then one on the left. No? Maybe one on the left. We'll see. Also, one of the most annoying parts of the run, because you just have to hear, ah! Mowing the whole uh, time. There we go. So that, what Colt just did is perfect ships. Uh, got, got it perfectly. 
Didn't miss one there. Here, uh, I'm gonna go call up the elevator as Gold will try to join. Um, Maybe just down myself because it'll take too long, I think. Sure. I mean, if, if you can make it, make it. Nah. Um, so this is usually where the uh, final glitch happens. Um, while we wait for the elevator, I'll explain it. Um, there's a new setup for it where you don't have to hope for RNG of an enemy shooting you, so I would stand here and shoot myself off this wall. Um, there is a two frame window for when my bullet hits me that I have to pause the game. It's only two frames. Yeah. Uh, and if you do it right, for some reason the game just it glitches out and it takes you to the winning screen. It puts you in the same zone that you, you cross when you enter a time portal. Yeah. And we don't know why, but it does. So... Maybe for memory's sake, but yeah, yeah, we'd have to have like a real uh, software guru to figure out like why that's happening. Yeah. We just know it works. <laughs> and it works very beautifully. And then you go to the ship, and that is... And... Time! And that is it. That's the run. That is our Time Splitters 2 co-op easy speed run. Second best in the world. We're one day gonna be first. We'll be first one day, just check the leaderboards. Yep. Yeah, and, keep checking. You know, when we set the run, it'll probably take like three years for it to, to upload to the, the site, but it's all right. Uh, yeah, and that that's about it. We're going to show you our in-game time here just to see um, how we did. Since, uh, we, weren't, we weren't actively timing it. Kind, yeah. of, kind of a more relaxed run, so... But I, I think that was a, just a, a... Pretty good. A, a good run. I'd say we're like, like maybe two minutes behind. 20, yeah. Wait, 24, so... 24, 34, we hit a 23, 11. That's our world record. So we're only a minute and 23 seconds behind. So this run will put us uh, right above, right at 10th in the world. Which, pretty good for, for a casual run like for that, where we didn't run. run any of our crazy strats. And we missed a lot of things, too. Yeah. Uh, but we did get the good Aztec RNG, and our robot factory was pretty good, I thought. Yep. So anyways, that's our run. Um, like... Thank you for considering us. We really hope to to see you all in in Pennsylvania later this, uh, I guess next year, early next year. So, thank you for watching, guys. Yep. Thanks a lot. Dude, really good.